Welcome to another Beam Robotics video. This one will be pretty simple. I'm just going to go through the build process of a little robot called the Beam Termit. Now these are similar to the robot I built previously. However, instead of a little single motor pointing straight down, they have a gear motor arranged to the side with a little arm attached to it. And they use this to roll around the entire robot, kind of like how a bacteria moves. So I'll mostly let the video do the talking and let's get started. First I freeformed the solar engine and I glued the two parts, the IC and the transistor together face to face, and then bent the pins and soldered them together as needed. this as small as possible so it would fit into the end of a servo motor which I would be using for my main gear motor. the inside control circuitry of this servo motor and then replaced it with my own little solar engine circuitry. Everything fit in nicely. It turns out that my timing capacitor was almost the same size as the rest of the solar engine. everything fit nicely into this little cap. The only part that didn't fit was the main storage cap, which had to sit outside of this, but I made a little wire cover for it and connected it directly to the inside, so everything was fairly secure. storage cap was a 1 farad super capacitor, which is overkill for this situation, but it was the smallest capacitor I had. Once I had it sealed up, I tested the solar engine with a single solar cell, and it worked perfectly. I added two diodes to this that would help prevent reverse current going through the solar cells. Since this will have two solar cells, one on either side, one would often end up with much lower voltage, which could end up backfeeding through it and wasting power. This little diode bridge prevents that. The solar cells are just mounted with 3M foam tape. It's not the most elegant solution, but the soft tape should provide a little bit of cushioning and protect the internals as well as the solar cells.
cut off the extra mounting tab for this servo as it will not be needed and will help the robot move around a little bit easier without it. Once the main body was done, all that was left was to add the little arm the robot will use to move. I soldered these little wire ties down and everything was very secure. This is the finished product. You can see here is a few of my solar powered beam robots all acting together. It's very interesting to watch them interact. And if you think about it, this single motor version and the beam Simit are kind of like the simplest Brattenburg machines. They move faster in the sunlight and they move slower away from it, but they don't have any real other reactions other than that. It's basically just dependent on how much light is falling on that solar cell. the clear shell as well it reminds me of my obsession which is early 2000s electronics thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time <laughs>